For this video, you will see how to import your DWG file into your Google SketchUp. First thing you want to do is have your camera position set to top so that you have that flat 2D view going on in your modeling window. From here, you will go over to where you have your file and select import. This is where you would choose the file that you want to import, whatever that CAD file is or file that you're bringing in. And you would just select it. Your import results will come up on your screen, letting you know your layers are coming in, any blocks or any of that CAD information. And you will simply close and it will populate on your screen. So right now you have your CAD drawing in your SketchUp. Using your Orbit tool, you can see that it is a flat. Going back to that camera view to top, if I take my selection tool and I select any line, everything populates. That's because your drawing comes in as a component. So it is one piece. If you need to separate it, you can select it and of course press explode and now everything will be separated out. But I would like to undo and keep my units as one. So I'm gonna do undo explode. When you have a CAD file brought in, this is one way to begin to create and form your plans that is a scaled drawing. You can always use your tape measure or your dimension tool to double check your measurements, but we wanna go ahead and begin to give our drawing some depth and character. So the first thing I would do is choose my rectangle tool and then begin to go from corner to corner to create my walls. And I'm just going through and sectioning off walls and as you can see I'm creating faces once these faces are created then we can move to the next part and that is begin to group them as our interior or exterior walls and then we can also begin to extrude them by giving them some height. Going in my little corners and erasing lines that I don't need because I want this to flow as one unit, that's fine. If I did not, I will leave it there. Now we can also use our rectangle tool to draw in the rectangle of our different faces of flooring. If anything is selected and you did not want it to be included as far as like underneath the tub with the flooring of the bathroom or anything that happens to come up like that, you can turn it on and off and go in and create it again. So now I have separated for this image my bathroom, large area flooring, and then the tub space. Using my orbit tool, you, I can now begin to use my push pull tool and select my walls on this side. Again, these can be grouped and pull my walls up. Let's say this is a residential space and I want my walls to be eight feet. I'm gonna type in eight feet and pull them up. If these are groups, you can, again, pull them up and then hide them or turn them on and off as deemed. If I wanted to come in here and pull up my interior walls, I always recommend pulling walls up just halfway so that you can work 
in your space. And when you finish, then you go ahead and complete pulling them up the rest of the way.